Hi everyone, this is Elizabeth, a follow-up video to the one that I did two weeks ago about SPFs. And so I just wanted to run through very quickly, although it's probably going to take ages because I've got a hundred of these to go through, but I wanted to run through um, a few recommendations of sun protection and products that contain sun protection. Just to give you a few examples of the products that I was talking about two weeks ago. Now if you want to watch that video before you watch this one, I've got a link in the information box below and I'll link to it at the end of the video as well. So starting with the highest factor, factor 50, um, the first one that I've got here is the Kiehl's Ultralight Daily UV Defense. And I think this one is absolutely brilliant. I've been using it for a couple of weeks and it's shot up to the very top of my favorites list. It's so light, um, it's the lightest one that I think I found and it doesn't leave any kind of cast or residue. It's just brilliant. This is one that I've been using for years. This is the Daily Essential Moisturiser from Alpha H. And they do a different version of this without SPF, but this one has got SPF 50. And it's just a really nice, basic uh, moisturiser with good sun protection in it. And um, I just really rate it. And loads of makeup artists that I've worked with use this as well and it makes a really good makeup base. I wrote about this long con one, this is the GN Shield. I wrote about this the other day on the website. It's not quite as light as the Kiehl's. I just don't think anything is going to beat the Kiehl's one but it's really super light and doesn't leave any kind of residue or sheen or white cast or anything like that. Newish Discovery, this one from QMS Cosmetics. And I like it, it feels a bit more like a barrier than the others. So there is a kind of residue and a sheen on the skin, but there's no whiteness because sometimes high SPF leaves this kind of chalky white cast on the face, a bit like you're a ghost, which is fine if you've got very, very fair skin, but for anybody, you know, even my skin tone, anybody with slightly darker skin, it looks awful. I thought that the Bioderma um, Sun Care was well worth a mention. Tried a couple of things from their range now, all of it really nice. I do think that the French pharmacy brands are very good at formulating um, high protection sun care that has, it, that's, that's quite good for kind of sensitive skin or acneic skin or oily skin. They're quite good at pinpointing a problem and then formulating a good sun care product around it. So um, for example, La Roche-Posay and Thelios there are quite a few different versions of Anthelios and you know there are ones that are quite good like the fluid that are good for if you've got acne prone skin or oily skin and then they've got a couple that are good for sensitive skin so it's really worth having a look at these French pharmacy brands Essential.com they do all of the French pharmacy brands pretty much so I'll put a link to them in the information box below another French pharmacy brand Aven this one's slightly um, lower SPF but it's water resistant and I've, I think this is kind of my second or third one of these. Um, I used to buy this when I went on holiday in France before I was even doing a model recommends and um, just got on really well with it. So still using that one. And another makeup artist favorite, this is the Shu Yamura UV under, under base mousse, under base mousse. And it's SPF 30 and it's a mousse that you can use as, it's kind of like a primer really I suppose. It feels quite tacky when it dries and that's because you've got to follow it with makeup. It's not supposed to really be used as a standalone SPF. Slightly lower factor now, this is the Murad Oil Control Mattifier. This is quite expensive actually, but it's really, really good. If you've got uh, really oily skin and you need a moisturizer or a, and a sun protection all in one, that um, can kind of help control the T-zone and over oiliness and this one is really good. Remember that with any kind of moisturiser that you know says SPF or whatever, check that it's got UVA and UVB protection and also make sure that you use enough, that's the key thing. I'm going to move into a couple of BB cream or tinted moisturiser products now and all of these I do use in quite generous amounts so I'd say that I'm pretty much getting the stated factor. So first one is the NARS Tinted Moisturiser. This is it going on my face, and it's just a really nice juicy kind of texture. Really good shades, I use Light 2, which is Alaska. And you can see it just gives a really nice radiant glow. Tinted Moisturiser from Boots Number no. 7, a long-standing favorite with me. I mean, I've been using this for years and years and years. And um, again, 
good protection, UVA and UVB, but it's factor 15. It doesn't give great coverage, I'll be honest with you, but you're not really using it for that. I mean, this is the kind of thing that you would use on holiday or on the weekend just to give yourself a nice glow. And same goes really for this Olay one. I think this is really good. This is um, Olay 7 in 1, the Total Effects Moisturiser and it's got a little bit of foundation in there as well so I suppose in a way it's a tinted moisturiser and this is SPF 15, UVA and UVB and I use fair in this one but I could probably go the next one up if you've got slightly darker skin than me then you won't get on with fair you'll need the next shade up so I'm going to put some other suggestions down in the information box so have a look at those for more ideas but hopefully, I've meant to do this video for years and hopefully that just gives you a few pointers towards good um, dedicated sun care and also a couple of good makeup products that have quite proficient SPF in them as long as you use a good amount of them. So hopefully that's not too confusing for you. If you need more information on the SPFs, like basic information, then click to go through to the video from two weeks ago. Otherwise, give this video a big thumbs up if you're feeling kind and make sure you're subscribed and I shall see you next time.